Although that's not what we have on the screen right now. No, that's the <laughs> dusk. Okay, so this is really cool. I was talking with you about this in the backstage. Um, I have a very strong opinion right now that next to next to Boots, the most unprepared weapon, like at least when it comes to combating it, is the orb. Mm -hmm. And Stingray is a huge, huge believer in the uh, spear at the moment. And that's like, he was like, whatever I'm going to be playing, I got to make sure that it's going to be having a spear. I don't want to be picking up the lance. This is like a pick that is hypothetical in the way that Ada is, where I feel like everybody's kind of like, oh, I can't wait till Ada gets five more rounds of buffs so I can finally pick the character. And Dusk is in the same, same area, I feel like. So seeing him pick this is really exciting. Godly opens up super strong here, but I'm wondering if Stingray is also thinking, oh man, Rage is just doing great with the orb. Maybe I should break out my orb as well. Yeah, but I mean, as even with Golly though, Golly's kind of swapped out for what we have kind of known him for for a little bit, which is that of Suri, and he's kind of yeah. back to some of the older uh, ways of Golly by pulling out uh, a Gauntlet Legend. Very popular Legend too, which in, within Mordex, who is, I feel like has never been bad. And, yeah, well, I never look at Mordex and go like, why did you pick this character? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh, that's exactly the case here. Uh, Godly... Opening up strong, like you said, Gauntlets and Scythe in both hands here, and that side light and air goes for the gravity cancel downline. That could have been another stock off of from Stingray. I really wonder how this is going to be playing out here at Raw Haven. Oh man, Ooh. Downsig goes up with the active input because he couldn't dunk him. Yeah, uh, 100%. You know, obviously you want to try to see if he can, was closer to getting that KO, or at least put him in the skies, setting Ooh. up for a recovery, but big damage actually being delivered here from uh, Stingray. Okay. Really just kind of oh, controlling, oh. controlling neutral pretty well right now with these uh, neutral lights. Yeah, that was a cool idea. He weaved in the Dust Side Sig as like a super powered neutral light where he's just holding his ground and constantly putting out moves. Uh, it actually, wow. gets about the gravity cancel there. And Godly gets set off the right side of the stage and that just has enough force to knock out. Very impressive. Good stuff. Yeah, so I mean, obviously he's hurting. But, you know, if Godly can't get this uh, this KO pretty soon, I mean, this could be uh, imminent doom for him. But, however, we have seen Godly take some pretty early stocks uh, today. So, not to say that he can't uh, get himself right back in here. But it is looking more on the side of Stingray. Good little combination right there, pushing him off the stage. Ooh. Yeah, and oh. Orb, Orb is so great as well with uh, D-Light Nair's... Oh. Okay, size six. Wow. Two stocks. All right, Stingray opened up that game, down a stock and some change, and then two stocks. Well, that's, uh, you know what? It's the power of the orb, bro. You said <laughs> you said it's not being used a lot, and, and it comes out here, and it's trying to keep its 100% win rate. So. I, I suppose so. Yeah, that was the thing, because like orb was picked by, I, I, I was talking about this before, uh, between all of the regions, all five of them, orb was picked by exactly one person in top eight, and that was Radish. And so Stingray bringing out the Dusk and bringing uh, orb onto the playing field here. Look at the look at the graph there. There's the plateau where Stingray just decided to stop getting hit. The rest of the game. Uh, Godly's off of Mordex now. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, and honestly, uh, expected. I mean, he's he's been kind of swapped. I feel like he's almost in a like a weird character crisis uh, right now in the middle of <laughs> this Royale because we've seen quite a bit of characters coming out. You know, the Petra came out earlier as he tried to uh, uh, out Petra Radish, and that did not go uh, go well. Uh, obviously, started with the Assyria. Uh, Mordex came out, and now back to the Petra. See if he can. Uh, oh, oh yeah, back actually yeah. on the Val. Sorry. Yeah, that, that like leads to that character crisis that you're talking about. Because yep. you, you and I were, were going through, it's like, oh, yeah, I guess Godly's on the Asuri now. And he had been on the Asuri for a few months. But it was one of those things where he's been playing what he feels like is the strongest in the game at the time. And to see him think that the Asuri is not that going up against a player like Stingray, who is bringing out the dusk of all characters, which is just like, like when it comes to low representation legends, Dusk is down there, right? Like, it, it was it was a huge surprise when Fozy was bringing out Zariel in those in those doubles matches, but to see Dusk come out here in singles and take game one off of Godly is really yeah. impressive, and he's kind of lead here in game two. All right, so Stingray, Godly, doing a really good job uh, so far of, uh, you know, actually jockeying for position, but Stingray is going to be the first person to take that uh, stock. And Godly, you know, again, like with the character crisis, at least he's picking like all good slash popular characters. You know, right, right. Like at one point in time, this was like considered the best character. The yeah, game, so yeah. So you started with the Mordex. Mordex didn't go well. He's like, all right, let's next best thing is the Val. You know, this character. You see these characters quite a bit in, in multiple regions. So, oh, okay, get off him real quick. Yeah, the only character that I hope we don't see is the Ogrim coming through because that's like the that, that was like the European legend to pick before Val was. But here we go. Singray can't get that hit. He was hoping he would get that hit on the fall down and get the chase dodge. Golly dodges it, can't get the drift into the stage, and it's evened up two to two. Golly on the gauntlets now against Stingray and the Spirit. Stingray, I just feel like has complete control. He's doing this movement um, uh, in, in neutral that is encouraging Godly to put out like 
a, a gauntlet neutralite or such, so that Stingray can be right above him, punish him with a dare like so, or a neutralite, and Stingray's just getting a lot of these small wins, and there's suddenly the side sig, and that's just the knockout. Like, this entire stock, Stingray's gone untouched, finally unarmed, was recovery nair of all things. It also feels like just, you know, this Dusk, like, this is not a character we get to see a lot. So I feel like there's probably a little bit of matchup on familiarity uh, being thrown in here as well. Isaac's fast. I didn't realize. <laughs> it's like, it's he, pretty he, fast. He has been throwing out quite a bit of, like, six, like unpunishable things. <laughs> just like, it's here. All right, well, I missed, but it's fine. You're too far away to actually do anything about it. And, yeah, it's been really keeping uh, the momentum going. Stingray, I, I, you can tell that he really wants to uh, be a, some type of spirit legend. Yeah. He's all, all, try, uh, all trying to figure out what legend he wanted on the side. Great ground. Pound though, says, where are you going? Absolutely nowhere but to that bottom blast zone. And it's looking uh, gr better for Golly than him keep himself into this game. But Stingray still, I uh, would say, probably has the stage control here. Yeah, and I mean, when, when I think about it, that, that ground pound catching the stuff recovery was a huge break for Godly, but the, the where the break hasn't happened yet is in this neutral pressure coming out from Stingray. Where Godly goes out, puts out something super risky, like a dash jump, gravity cancel, reverse downlight, no dodge for three seconds, and Stingray gets a side sig off of that. And now Godly is getting a good string here. Off stage might be where Godly has to be able to take these wins. And that recovery comes through. Okay, no, that's just a huge combo. Oh, that's so close. Okay. Stingray trying to get a nice little reversal here with that side air, pushing uh, Godly back off the stage, but everyone's hurting right now, so we're getting that stuff. Godly. Oh, is that it? Yeah. I really like the idea he had there. That is a situation where a lot of people probably would have tried to air dodge past you, mm -hmm. but. That was smooth movement right there from Stingray, and because he used the gravity cancel, that means that combo was uh, guaranteed gone. And I think that uh, Godly's got to adapt quickly to how Stingray plays, because Stingray is not the type of player who is going to go for such a hard read where a pivot gravity cancel down like that will catch him. And we saw that earlier on that match, too, where I was talking about Godly is going for these really risky things where he does dash jump, pivot, gravity cancel down light. Um, and. He's getting punished by Stingray with it, where it like, becomes like not just a single hit, but a hit into a signature, or in that case, it was side light, D light recovery. They just lost the stock in the game off of that, and now it is 2-0 lead for Stingray. One more win here, and the situation, TK, that I was talking about happens where both of these players will end up being 2-3, and three, and that fourth seed spot suddenly becomes way more up for grabs. Yeah, and this is actually, I mean, again, crazy that, like, Godly, you know, he was coming here, and that, that one of the things that a lot of people, oh. I think, were taught, oh my, is he? He's the dancing okay, on that angle? It. That's such a hard move to hit, but as you were saying, with yeah. Godly. He was, uh, I, I think that, like, you know, when he when he gets doubted, like, that actually kind of powers him up. But today, like, I mean, everybody else seems to be on a different level. <laughs> and what a scoop! Get him out of here! Throwing him off the side with that neutral stick, and this is a great start here for uh, Stingray. Now, he is hurting, but Godly, no weapon in hand just yet. Manages to pick up that sword and the KO2 very quick with it. I feel like, because Stingray plays a lot of characters in Bracket, whenever Stingray picks a pick like this, because like, he, he was doing the same thing in Winters before this, where he just like broke out the Vrax, and all of a sudden he's winning with the Vrax, and you, you make the signatures look like they're the best in the game. I feel like Stingray is the best player at making a character's signature moves look like signature moves. Because I was like, that neutral stick only worked in that situation. Yeah. And that was like... <laughs> It's like I gotta, I gotta force the situation and make it, and make it work, and that's exactly. And it's what he beautiful, did. And wonderful he, stuff. And the first time he puts it out is when it works there. So now Godly's got to play around with that, be wary that Stingray has that as a tool, and he's doing a good job. He has brought it back after that move, and now he with that daylight recovery that almost was the star. Very close. Yeah, Godly actually gonna lose his, uh, or Stingray gonna lose his weapon there. Godly. Really firing back on all cylinders. That should be enough. Yep, that downlight recovery here. Uh, just going to go ahead and repeat it to the left side. And obviously, that first one's about to, uh, to take stock. There's no reason that, uh, no way that second one was not going to. Sting right now, for the first time, I think, in this set, really, uh, well, first time in a long time, actually behind. Mm -hmm. Godly starting to ramp up here. Oh, huge. Said, I will avoid a 3 0, maybe? Yeah, uh, hopefully so. And maybe even make his way towards a reverse 3 0 at this rate, because he has been completely taking uh, Stingray out to the side of the stage here. Nice neutral stick gets the recovery to punish the ground pound. Stingray is just trying to get back to the Ooh. stage, and that time the neutral stick doesn't work out. Godly gets a huge punish. Two Sairs. Edge guard, no. Doesn't get the slide target pivot neutral signature, and that sidelight slider could lead to an edge guard here to a one stock versus one situation, but uh, I, when it comes to the spear and orb, I'm not looking at this weapon and going like, okay, one dodge read and you're gone. Right. right. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like, you know, maybe maybe one 
uh, like good off stage interaction you're going with the with the orb. But I mean, you have to find that first, and you got to avoid quite a bit of hits as you are sitting in some pretty high damage. Oh. And he's doing. Wait, hold on. He's, he's doing, doing it. He's doing it. Like if you just gotta get five true combos in a row in neutral against Godly, no sweat, right? But that's what Stingray is doing. He's caught him with a lot of side lights. Okay, there falls in the neutral idea. Godly no. dropped the two lights there. He that dropped and he didn't didn't go for recovery either. So yeah, just I mean obviously the stair was the better option. You're so close to the last zone, but yeah. Okay, Sarah could do it. Yep. Nice. Godly gets the edge guard there, but that's huge. Like moments like that when you're down 2-0 and set, like with how often Stingray was beating him on his landings, I was like, that could have just cost him the game. But no, Godly ends up getting that stare there and he brings it to a game four. All right, man. That's how you do it. You know, again, like I, I think uh, I was told that Godly was that you told me that God Godly broke his uh <laughs> he, he was talking yeah. about how his yeah, keyboard bro, wasn't, wasn't working. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he's on a different different type or something like that. But he was tweeting about that earlier today. Maybe he got it fixed. But he was like, "Yeah, my USB port broke day of the tournament." Yeah, <laughs> but, well, but he's still worst, playing worst strong. Time, worst time for anything to happen. You know, the thing that you're so used to, the thing that uh, determines your input. And now you got to work with a brand new one. Uh, potentially, I don't know if that's actually what he's doing or if he just managed to find a way to fix his USB port. But regardless. Stingray is going to pull out of the Brin, and it is not looking good for that Brin. Sparky may have been correct. All right, yeah, like he's he <laughs> put good that for axe the away. First three axe hits, and then yeah, he just like lobbed off this thing. He didn't even try to make that into a combo. He was just like, please give me a spear. Uh, I'm curious about this because this was uh, talking yesterday. Stingray just full full stop in the interviews was like, the Brin is my main. This is the character that I believe in. This is what I want to win with. So seeing the dust come out, I feel like may have been a little experimental where he was like, I'm going to play this until it loses and it just so happened that he got two wins with it. But now that Godly took a game off of it, he's like, okay, I'm going to bring the Bren out. This is what I'm going to use to win these matches. And so far, it looks like Godly's having an even better time against Stingray's Bren. Uh, I think that when it comes to Europe as a region, they are hyper experienced against Axe in singles. They, 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 that weapon is basically was only picked for like two years in the competitive meta. So seeing Stingray bring it out against Godly now and not at the caliber of, say, anybody like that has plays it could be pretty rough. Yeah, I mean, I oh, okay. Well, you know, honestly, uh, it it's not really looking like Brent is his main, but I I <laughs> I, I feel as though you know, Golly's kind of ramping up right now. I think he saw that the pressure was on, right? Yeah. You know, I'm down 2-0. I got to start making some plays happen, and he like literally he's playing like, oh, he's, I feel like he's playing at a different speed right now. Like yeah. <laughs> like this is a YouTube video, and he just 1.25 it real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's so it, it's interesting to note though that like for, in terms of this matchup between these two players, they're they don't fight against each other very often. And a, a player that did beat Godly in Europe in winters was Blaze, who plays Bryn in, in doubles and in singles. So I'm like, OK, St Godly could just be so ready for this matchup that Stingray just doesn't play on the caliber that he's used to fighting against here. And he may switch off of this, but we'll see. Uh, he is very damaged right now. Stingray. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think about Bryn, too, is that like, Bryn always seems to be, she's one of the most middle of the road characters in this game. Like, yes, yeah. So yeah. if you're playing well, then she's going to be good. But if you're playing bad, like, it's definitely very much seeable. Oh, wait a minute, though. The turnaround? OK. That's huge. And you, I mean, he, that, what a great example of when you're playing well, right? Yep. <laughs> like, that, that's, that happens right there. Spear is so good for those weapon throw knockouts. But yeah, I see what you're talking about. Even, even, even her stat line reflects yeah. that. You know, it's just straight down the middle. It's like, every, like I, I, whenever people are like, are trying to get into this game, they're like, what is the character I should try first? Like, I, Bovar or Bryn. Both mm -hmm. of those characters, their sigs do exactly what you think they're going to do. And they have a pretty middle of the road stat. So then after that, you can figure out what you want to do. Great read right there from Godly. Going for the neutral sig, knowing that, uh, that Stingray was going to try to cross them up. And now, into a Game 5 situation, very dominant first two stocks All right, from what Godly. Is, what does Stingray do? He he is now on the verge of getting reverse 3-0'd. And like I said, this would be him going 1-4 on the scoreline if, yeah. if he goes down to Godly here, where where he essentially can becomes out of contention and Godly gets much closer to securing that fourth seed spot. I know Stingray's got like five or six characters that he's willing to bring out. What I'm curious about is if after that Bryn game, does he stay with it? Does he bring up the Lance? Does he go back to Dusk? What are we about to see? I'm I'm thinking that I I really feel like the dust should come back out. Yeah. Like, I think the he was doing some pretty Game great stuff five, with the two, orb. He got one, some pretty good reads bro. and nope, he what? decides to bring out the Old Faithful. He okay, I <laughs> I know you were there yesterday when he said I'm just never picking a riot again. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. So this, like, I lost because I picked up a a, a rocket oh, there and it here is. it is. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. Uh the uh, looking at this matchup, right? 
Stingray in this exact same position, but not against Godly, against Kaina and BCX. One last stock scenario against Kaina's Zol with this character using that spear down zig that now has a little bit less force <laughs> in 703, which is the patch that they're playing on right now. So let's see how this plays out as Godly's locked in Val here for this game five, and Stingray is back on that old faithful, like you said. Right, man. I mean, and to be honest, I mean, it's not going terrible for him right now. Does manage to get back. That was going to be a scary situation if he got ground pounded out of that recovery. But great spacing on there using that wide side of the recovery to get around the ground pound. And, all right, back on to... Now, like, now that he said it, like, I'm, like, so... Like, my brain shifts. Like, oh, no. It's the rocket. It's the rocket. <laughs> it's the rocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the single, right? Look at that. Gravity gets a side stick with a ledge. That's instant punish from Godly. Gets the recovery. Now Stingray's got two stocks left to play with in this best of five. Okay. He's got good damage here onto uh, on to Godly though, but Godly now Whoa. racking it up immediately. Yeah. Okay, get off me, quick side air. Fake fake throw right there. I like that idea. There's the down signal landing, but Godly's ready for that. You saw him jumping. He you if he had that extra jump, he like put out a fastball to bait it, and then uh, Stingray gets punished for it. Sider comes through with the recovery as it goes high. He's sweating back to stage. Godly picks up the sword. Okay, there's the Sare. And despite all of the wins that Godly got in neutral there. Stingray's not as damaged as I thought. He's he's sitting at orange. He can take a few more hits before a side sinker or single hit. Okay. Yeah, well. surprisingly, does Orion have good defense like that? I I mean it's it's about middle of the road. That's All right. Yeah. Uh, well, just a little spray, yeah, because I feel like he. It felt like he, he took take, a lot like he rolling defense right now. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, he yeah. just got hit so many times, but somehow he's still living. And he's finally starting to hit this red. Uh, you know, a very slight red, but it's getting close, close to that deeper. Oh, okay. nice punish. Okay, yeah, Godly's gone for that slide charge pivot just like a few times now. And yeah. Stingray hit it with this, the Lance recovery there. Okay. Uh, nice avoidance right here from Stingray, just using that uh, side air as movement and then getting back in there. Ooh. That right. was interesting. Yeah, threw the weapon behind when he went back to the stage, but he's sweating, and that initially comes through. And he was still sweating when he got hit. He's got to be careful about that. Okay, nice star from Godly. I think a spear is guaranteed for Stingray next. Oh, picks it up. Yep, there it is. See what he can do with this, though. Like, I, you know, it's a little scary that he's able to pick this up. He's going to have to try to, like, cycle out pretty quickly oh. because you don't want to lose. And now he has to come right back to a rocket lens. It's going to be the first thing he can pick. He picks up here, which, again, you know, him not having that faith in that, yeah. a little scary. But the damage has been racked up. Oh, shot. There and is. there it is. He's going to be able to get himself a, a, a spear, too. That's kind of been his tried and true. Going to cycle that out. Yep. One. Yeah, okay, so it's spear the rest of the way here. Last stock scenario, game five. Stingray versus Godly. And Stingray's got Godly starved. That's three nares and a weapon throw before Godly can break the pressure. And Godly's still starved. Woo. Oh, he went to the, the grave. Gets up to like, oh, my God. Trying to do it all right there. That would have been it. I don't. Don't. Could he have got another? Nah. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's possible that they were high enough that just being in hit stun up towards the stage would have just carried him into the blast. Oh, zone. Like they were, it, I, I wasn't sure what was going to happen there. Yeah, so like, I, was like, I think I don't think you can get into the recovery out. So would be like maybe try to hit him top side nair or something. Oh man, it's been only nairs on this stock so far. Another nair comes through. Stingray's catching Godly in the air constantly. Can put out one more side light. Oh, oh the down there! He got the dodge down and he waited. You see the stutter step forward. That's so incredible. The last time that Stingray tried to do that, Godly like fast fell to bait it and then landed. And Stingray just waited that time. He he waited it out. He gets the win and he makes this round robin so much closer than it was gonna be if he went down there. That's oh, an incredible man. win. What I mean to bring out to bring out the old faithful too. Like after we're talking about like I will never.